I'm Reese Stein, at your leisure, at one of the most famous mountain passes in the U.S., the, as the sign says, historic Cumberland Gap. The notch in the Appalachian Mountains was first discovered by white Americans in 1750. The Gap Trail, called the Wilderness Road, was blazed by legendary frontiersman Daniel Boone. It served as a pathway for some 300,000 settlers from Virginia to Tennessee and Kentucky. As historic as Cumberland Gap is, it is equally unassuming in appearance, simply a single track up one side and down the other. One modest sign explains that migrating bison moccasin-clad warriors, dreaming pioneers, and Civil War soldiers beat the path across the mountain. It's the Cumberland Gap Trail, and I've always read about the Cumberland Gap and wanted to see it, and now I'm standing right in it. So it's a very special place to me. President Franklin Roosevelt established the 24,000-acre National Historical Park in 1940. Years ago, the main highway followed the trail. You could drive right through the gap. The highway has been rerouted now just the original trail remains. An easy half mile walk from the parking lot to the gap and only a 200 foot climb. A second trail following the path of Boone's Wilderness Road also leads back to the parking area. That is if you don't miss the leaf covered turn and wander off into the forest, wind up on the railroad tracks, which leads through a mile long tunnel and doesn't come out anywhere near the parking area. It meets the Gap Trail on the other side of the mountain. Another one mile climb back to the famous saddle, passing a 19th century blast furnace on the way. So we went to Cumberland Gap from both the Kentucky side and the Tennessee side on our five hour, seven mile odyssey. A half mile long spur trail takes us to the Tri-State Overlook, where an open pavilion shelters the exact conjunction of Kentucky, Tennessee, and Virginia with plaques describing each state. And further up the road, the pinnacle overlook with dramatic views of the three states. Below is the historic town of Cumberland Gap, Tennessee on the Gap Trail, settled in the late 1700s to house iron ore workers. We stayed in the comfortable and inexpensive Cumberland Gap Inn, right in the middle of the national park. I love this place, I, I love the forest. It's totally different forest than I'm used to in Utah, and it's beautiful with many colors. The trails are wonderful, and they're easier <laughs> than I'm used to, so you, you can get to places you want to go fairly easily. It's even a wonderful place to get lost in. Reese Stein with Marianne along the way in Cumberland Gap National Historic Park, Tennessee, Kentucky, and Virginia.